Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie and this is episode 8 of my season 2 Let's Play for 7 Days to Die Alpha 17 Experimental. <laughs> um, it's a little bit later than I normally would start. Um, when I got done with the horde in the last video, um, it was about 1 o'clock and I, I just, um, I was tired and I logged off and this morning when I logged back in I thought I was getting a wandering horde but I think the horde actually started up again <laughs> so I wound up um, pretty much running myself out of ammo on my machine gun it's pretty much uh, gone uh, I had very little ammo where you can see I have eight 7.62 rounds and 12 9 millimeter rounds. I even fired a few of my shotgun rounds that ran myself completely out of arrows. These are the ones I picked up off the ground <laughs> after it was done. I thought it was just a wandering horde and then they just kept coming. As I would kill them off there were uh, like dogs and I don't so I, I think it was the horde continued but it, it just seemed a little weird because it it looked like it let up and and stopped um, so I have no idea what what was going on so what I'm gonna do I I, <laughs> I was sitting there um, going, what do I do um, so I started just putting things away and getting getting things ready to go out and about um, so first things first I need wood so I can make these arrows so I have ammo to fight things off <laughs> but um, before we leave I think that should be enough if I wanted to queue up another hundred or so That's not going to be enough time. And let's make 200 since we're so low. Oh my god. That's only going to be 100. So we'll let that go for a little while. Oh man. Oh man. It was, uh, yeah, it was like it was a whole new horde. Uh, it, it came from this direction. You can see a little bit of the damage they did here. Uh, I I got I ran out of ammo, and I was like, "What am I gonna do? I can't go out there to fight these guys off." So I went down into the cage, and when I did that, they were forced. Uh, they actually came through all of the the barbed wire fence to get in. You can see that they killed off this. Uh, corner spike there to get in and here they came through and killed off this whole line there and that corner one there because they were coming from this way and then this way um at the end I had one big mama left and she was like I don't know she was only like right there she just turned around and walked off at at four and I was like Where's she going? What What is going on? Um, they did drop a, uh, had one drop a loot bag on the inside. Uh, yeah, let me go show you. Uh, once I went inside and they, cause I was like, uh, I had to melee them, but I didn't want to go out because they were still running. They destroyed these blocks like it was nothing, you know? And these are almost gone. Um, yeah, I never got a chance to upgrade them. So we'll definitely have to uh, do some repair work in here. Finish these off. I was very happy uh, that I placed these differently than last time. Because last time I placed them on the bottom. Along here. And then along here. Like right above these. So that when they broke the top one they could just come in they stepped right over the bottom one so 
I got a little bit smart and placed these on the top part and they were not able to come in once they broke those so that was that was very very good and the the frames kept them out uh, uh, I wanted those to be solid blocks but I didn't have enough resources because I was busy working on the traps so yeah uh, it didn't happen so I, I do plan on getting those to solid blocks so I was able to kill them off uh, meleeing them here and then one of them dropped the bag and it had like five iron and some cash in it like three or four hundred dukes so that was uh that was pretty nice um seriously i, I could have swore i had my my bike on me so yeah i i thought it was just the horde and i mean just the wandering horde so i didn't even think about recording um so <laughs> I don't know what to do about that. Uh, maybe like when I logged off, it sort of reset it and said, hey, uh, this is Horde Night. We need to send you a Horde. Awesome. So let's go to the trader. Um, man, that just gets me all frazzled. I saw some, uh, or I guess we really didn't see very many good buildings in that other town. At least we saw one. We saw one and it fell. Two thirds of it fell. Oh, let's go ahead. I, I don't want to ignore him. I mean, it's just rude. <laughs> Hello. How's it going? I would shoot you, but I, I don't have any arrows. Well, I have ten to save them for important people. <laughs> oh, man. Howdy. Howdy, friend. Um, can I see your inventory? Yeah, I want to go ahead and sell these, uh... Gold. Wait a if minute. we ain't got what you're did, looking for, we I did. get it. <laughs> I made, did I make another level? Oh my god. I made a couple of levels off of that. Um, so I wanted to, what is it under better barter? Oh yeah, I want to make sure that I buy this. Um, oh, I'm hitting the wrong thing. <laughs> But yeah, we definitely like to put some points into that. What do you gotta have? Int five, and that's you gotta be level thirty-four. Um, yes. So we can't get any more. So I guess that's good. Um, actually, what I was wanting would probably be to put another point into the fortitude line or possibly yeah let's just put it into the fortitude that'll be 30 more hit points which will be good now we can sell yes i'm ready to sell now oh seven silver nuggets look at that and we'll just sell everything all at once because we're nowhere near a level. And that was pretty much it. I wanted to check to see... He doesn't have any more of the yummy resources like before. I wonder if that's like a one-time deal. It sure did help out, I'm telling you. Ammo, seven, six, two rounds. Oh man. 
I'm tempted to buy those mushrooms uh, just so I could get a couple more seeds. I think I got one at the house. I know I have potatoes, corn, and blueberries, but if I get mushrooms, that'll, I'm just not sure. So let's go ahead and at least buy, oh, it's seven for five. I thought it was seven each. Um, yeah, let's just buy all of those. Is that seven for five as well? Mm. We already have potatoes though. Lots of them. Oh, look at that. They have so much food. Oh man. That is just awesome. I guess it's it's really good for people who don't like the farming part of the game. I really like the farming. Uh, so yeah, I would probably definitely be looking into that. Oh no. <laughs> Look at all that. They got some. Oh. Jiminy. wanted to, to find some more raw resources because uh, that really helped um, help me get a jump on the base but it doesn't look like they have anything else uh, it looks like he did reset on day seven and so he's gonna reset on day 10 again we'll come back and check right now I don't really have enough um, So let's just Great go. <laughs> we'll save, let's save our money. Oh look, Big Bertha. Uh, I think this is the one that wandered off. She's like, no, nope, I'm out of here. It's it's after four. It's time to go home. I'm not getting paid enough for this. Is this like a wandering board or Do these guys just spawn separately? That seems unlikely. But I, I will take the experience. Thank you. I'm sorry I can't um, expedite your uh, journey home to the big home in the sky. But uh, yeah, I'm a little bit low on ammo right now, guys. So I'm, I'm really sorry. I apologize about that. Uh, I would offer you a refund, but um, you know, this is a no guarantee policy. Oh, Bersmith! One that I haven't looted that's like right next to the trader? You gotta be kidding me. Okay, so <laughs> that's a really big juicy treat right here. Let's go knock it down. And I'm gonna take a drink of coffee. While we're doing this, oh man, so things we want to do today is first we got our three. Um, I'm feeling a bit vulnerable <laughs> with only these. Uh, little tiny bits of ammo so let's go ahead and uh, get those going and what I want to do I guess uh, I wanted to do this before the horde but we didn't really have enough time so let's go let's go to the treasure because we're really cool uh, Let's try and stay on the road. I believe this was, um, yeah, this is back where we spawned. Up. Yeah, we spawned really close to the trader in this. The trader was there, and then we went to the base, so 
We did not have... No, wait, was that another game? I think we came from up there. Oh, so that's another game I was thinking. So we had to come down here to find the traitor. We did go through the town. We spawned on the other side of town, but that's okay. Um, where is the... Tr oh, the treasure is quite a bit ways <laughs> away. So, um... Oh my god, how do you... How do you get off... I wanted the stuff and things, man. Oh, one hit. One hit with the axe now. That's awesome. Okay. So I guess um, we got quite a ways to go. So what is that? Oh. I've been wanting to go into one of those. Uh, um, let's mark it on our map. It's really close to the trader. Um. We'll, we'll call it K-P-O-I. And we'll come back to that. Because uh, that's really, that's close enough to our base to, you know, we could do that uh, sometime. And here's another. It's a little farmhouse. That looks pretty cool. Do you see that lady try to hit me? Um, this is where our road ends. Oh, nerds. Okay, we gotta off-road it. I was hoping we would have a nice, uh, clear path to our treasure. Maybe it will, uh, that's a good thing about the treasure and the quest. Um, they generally take you away from your base location and let you explore the map a little bit instead of like aimlessly wandering around just to uncover the map it sends you to a specific location and then you get to go woo I made it and uh, I got the stuff and things gives you a, a, a purpose for your what is that did you see it before we went in front behind those trees? Look at that. Holy cow, it's like a a mansion with a big a big old fence around it. What what Oh my god, there's a big rock in that tree. Jiminy Christmas. <laughs> okay. Um, I know there's a body of water. There we go. We went around it. Awesome. Oh, I just hope this treasure is not in the hills. Don't be in the hills. Don't be in the hills. Don't be in the hills. Come on. You can do it. Don't be in the hills. Um, there's a, a little POI over there. Oh, look. It looks like it's starting to flatten out up ahead. Getting a, a treasure in the side of a hill is like the worst. <laughs> it looks like, a, oh yeah, this would be a perfect spot for a treasure right here. Are we close? Oh yeah, it, it's, don't tell me it's on the road. Oh, I hope it's a dirt road. Oh, okay. Well, it's only on the corner, but I have had one in the road before. And it wasn't too bad. I mean, as long as you, um, you're going to dig three under anyway. So where was it? Boop, boop. We're going this way. Okay, so it's not here, but it is right there. <laughs> Okay. Oh, this isn't good. Oh, it goes quite a bit under the road. <laughs> okay, so about halfway between them. I guess it's right here. Yeah. 
right here. Oh, we got a Zombert. Come to check. He's going to try and steal our treasure. I got a present for you. I really do. You want to see it? Come here. Oh, dude. Oh, I never swapped out my game. Dang it. <laughs> God. I was trying not to move. Is this... Okay, so not here, but there. Oh, we got it. Come on, guys. I'm treasure hunting here. <laughs> okay, so that's normally how I lay it out. Let's go take care of this guy. He's gonna be bothering us. I come say, hey, what are you doing? I'm, I'm looking for treasure. Really? Can I have some? No, you can't. It's my treasure. I'm going to find it first. And you can't have any. <laughs> okay, so we're going to need our shovel. Oh man, I should have brought um, an extra iron. But I am a ninny. So let's go in the middle and start digging. If we have to, we'll dig under the road. But generally, I find it pretty close to the middle. This looks about right. You know, within a... Three or four blocks of the middle. Around there. Three or four blocks from the middle and, you know, two or three blocks down. Uh, occasionally I've seen them on the surface, which is really nice. Um, I should have did all oh, good. I brought drink and food. So let's go ahead and eat, eat them up, eat them up. Top that off and that'll help us. Um, oh yeah, I was really low. What I usually do with the road is I just dig beneath it um, instead of tearing it up because it's uh, it's really <laughs> it's tough. You know, it's like 1,500, isn't it, uh, hit points? Even though I have an iron pickaxe now, but it's still going to take a lot longer than the dirt to dig up. So it's no good. It is no good. Uh, so this will give us a good amount of clay uh, for all of our forge needs and cobblestone. Mm. And I, I know it's very tempting to put the points into Treasure Finder, but right now, um, I don't know what the level limit is, if there's a level limit, how many points we have to spend, uh, and honestly, uh, I don't have a problem finding the treasures uh, with what I have, so... I don't really want to, I, I just see that I, I, I would rather spend the points in something more substantial. I mean, yeah, it would help, but it's not going to, uh, I should stop breaking those with <laughs> my freaking shovel because it's getting jacked. We'll sort of clear some of this away. I'm going to have to widen the circle a little bit. Make it a little bit deeper. 
we can use these plants anyway. Uh, I haven't really made the farm. Uh, so I'm hoping that uh, base wise, um, we don't really need to do a whole lot more to our base. I would like to put the cap on it, uh, put our farmland up on the top like before. Oh look, there's like a whole field of these guys. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I would like to get the, the outer um, ring on it, so to speak, on the top and build the farmland. This, uh, this soil will help us with that as well. So that's good. Here we go. That's the spot. Um, we sort of need to leave like a little ramp up so we can get out in case the zomberts come. So hopefully we don't have to dig up too much of this, but if we do, it will go, the clay will be used. I guarantee that it's either going to make cobblestone for us, make dirt for a farm, or be put in the forge. So it, <laughs> it will get used. Um, I'm just hoping oh my, I should have brought iron. I I almost repaired it before I left and then I was like, oh, it's, not, it, it's still got a ways to go and, and so I didn't and now look at me, um, got a jacked uh, shovel that needs a repair and nothing to repair it with. So I think what I'm going to do, since my shovel is so low, is this sort of, is, no, I'm just going to sort of dig under the top layer, not too far, hopefully not enough to cause a cave in, just a couple blocks, it should be enough to support it. Um, and what I might do instead of that uh no wow it just sometimes it just clicks uh there we go it, it just it just clicks over one too far from what i uh wanted it to go <sighs> yeah my shovel's not gonna last i can't believe i did that I believe I left. It didn't bring. I didn't think it was gonna take a whole lot. I just wasn't thinking I wanted to go. Go go. We had a rough board night. Ran myself out of ammo. That I never had that happen before. I mean, we did pretty good, and it's like one o'clock. It looked like it was dying off. And um, yeah, we're gonna have to freaking come back. I can't believe I did that. But I can't repair it. Unless you're kind enough to drop a bag with a forged iron in it. Please? No? Okay, jerk. Well, there's nothing for it. It's not too far, okay. We're, let's just go repair it and come back. Everything will be okay. Ah, oh, nerds, okay. Um, 
I can't believe I ran off without some material to repair my shovel. And it was jacked when I left. Alright. There's the lake we don't want to fall into, so let's go to the right of it. I don't want to go too fast down the hill. There we go. Wee! <gasps> oh, crap. Alright, we're going to have to deal with her. Deal with the dog. That... I'm not going to say no, but it's not exactly what I was thinking when I thought of a loot bag. Oh, and we got, um, we need to take care of this dog. Oh, okay, stop crouching. All right, we'll actually whip out the knife for you, puppy. I actually have more meat than eggs, but that's, uh, yeah, that's nothing. That building we saw off in the distance is a traitor. Oh, that's so awesome. Oh man, I'm just missing like crazy. <sighs> Look at how, that's pretty close. It's on the same part of the map, so let's go ahead and uh, mark this one too. Oh. <laughs> Raider. I don't know if that's true or not, but hey, maybe he'll have, look, he's got a chemistry station that's ruined. <laughs> he's got a ruined workbench. Oh, yes, we don't have to go back because that workbench had some forged iron in it. Oh, a working forge, of course. Making too much noise. Could you stop, please? Thank you. Can I have my air back? Thank you. Oh, coffee. I wish I could loot that up, but I can't. So that was definitely worth finding, stumbling over. We can go back now and finish our treasure hunt. Oh, he look, his bookshelf is empty. Joel. Oh, and I think you can get, oh, only buried supplies are close. I really admire you for, well, alrighty then, let's get the ball rolling. All right, um, we actually have our dukes with us, so that's nice. Um... Oh, plus he has a whole bunch of forged iron that we could have bought. What I might buy is this forged steel. The other guy didn't have any forged steel, but we can't make steel for a long time. And all those wrenches that we have, we won't be able to repair. So if we had some forged steel, that would definitely be worth it. Um, so let's look through what he's got before we decide. He's got a lot of ammo. Oh man, look at all that. Oh, it's so hard looking at all of these mods and not buying them because I have 3,400 gold. I could buy a mod. Hmm.
And see, this is good to have these uh, base crops on there because what if you don't get lucky and find tons of farm like I did on this round and you don't have access to that? Uh, that would be nice to get your, your farm started. Cloth and leather. Um, yeah, nothing really there. So we can make our own iron. Grandpa's awesome sauce. What the heck does that do? Tired of getting bit by those pesky traders? Take a shot of Grandpa's awesome sauce and get a better deal. Oh, <laughs> that's nice. So it looks like it gives you... Oh, look, he's got... Oh, look at that. 700 yeah, we're going to buy that. 700 of that. And, the, and that price was by the 100. So it was a really good deal. Uh, I don't know about the sand, though. But I am interested in that steel. It's almost a hundred per. But maybe if we could buy like ten, we would have a little bit. Uh, to repair um, wrenches with. Yeah, I think that's pretty much all. All I want. I mean, I would like you, more, friend. but... Hello? Can't you see? I'm busy making deals. Where is he? Ah! There you go, friend. Have a nice day. Oh no! Is that your cousin? <laughs> Jebediah! <laughs> Alright. What you got? A cloth, of course. Alright, we can go back to our buried supplies. Because we now have a little bit of iron. A little bit of iron on us. We're like, really? Well, we might have to actually throw some of this stuff into... I saw the water. I thought, oh no, I'm going to run right into some water. So we can go get our supplies. That was like better than treasure. Finding a new trader. Oh, that is awesome. And we can get extra quests. Okay, so... Mm -hmm. Maybe... I could throw this food in there. That stuff. Um, oh, that's it. That's all you can... That's all he's got. <laughs> okay. We'll just have to hope that no zomberts come to steal our bike. There we go. Wow, it was so jacked. It didn't it didn't even fill it up. That's why I don't like having more than one on me at a time because that would have eaten two, but it wasn't really uh, a full second one. So we can just sort of widen this out for the top part up. Come on! Whew. 
Okay, so we're down. Actually, before I put that stuff up, let's go ahead and come over here and uh, ha eat out of our bike. A little picnic. And we'll get one more iron out. So that uh, once our pit, our shovel needs to be repaired again, hopefully it won't come to that, but <laughs> maybe. Uh, so here we go. So, um, yeah, how's it going? How's the kids? The family? Uh, most people would like to cut this out, but, you know, this is, um, a necessary part of the game. You gotta, you gotta dig, you gotta do some boring stuff occasionally. And it's okay. Oh, you know what? We're gonna have to support that before we break that lock. Otherwise, our little um, way out is gonna collapse. I'm really hoping it doesn't collapse on my head. You know, we could just like support it uh, it would be a little bit less that we would have to dig out but like you know we can put in the corners here we haven't really dug that one out that'll give it a little bit of support um, so it doesn't fall on our heads like uh you know when when i watch somebody play video games i want to watch them play and you know i watch them generally uh because i i, I don't know i like their personality and i want to hear what they have to say when they're doing the boring things because that's generally when they're going to be the most entertaining because they're not distracted by, you know, ten zombies trying to eat their faces off at once. <gasps> oh, nerds. We're out of stamina. <sighs> uh, let's see. That's quite a bit of ways under the road that it could possibly be. How far am I from there? So we might want to go under here some more. Let's see how far we can dig before. Plus, we're going to be digging under the road soon, and the road should have a um, higher structural integrity than the dirt. So that'll be good. Yeah, I <laughs> really wish I had more stamina. Dang it. Come on! <laughs> you know, I think that's really close to the marker. Let's see. Is that one, two, three, four to the edge here? Come on. Two, three, four. No, we could go another four back from that. Wow, okay. <laughs> Suddenly, the shovel is 
seems like it might crack. Well, let's not go too far back. Uh, sort of widen this hole out a little. I'm sure it can be like uh, two or three wide before it'll cave in anyway with dirt. Gravel though, not so much. Uh-oh. We, we got company. Oh, he's way over there. Dude! Oh, look, a rock. Oh, look, some garbage. That's empty, because I really don't. Hello. Goodbye. Goodbye. I thought it was a box, but it's just a tire. Oh, look, a rock. Okie dokie. I think we could go ahead and repair this while we're out in a boot. Okay. Back to work. There we go. Uh, yeah, make this section a little bit wider. And the thing with, uh, actually, yeah, I think we do want to go back a little bit further. So maybe we'll put uh, support there so that what, if we do go back that way further, um, it'll be supported a little bit better. Actually, go a few more blocks this way too. We'll make this the middle. Just go straight back. Yeah, it would make this a little bit easier to get to get those points put into it, but I mean, I don't really have to take the buried treasure if I don't want to. So, I mean, they don't have them all the time either, so getting them just for that seems, I don't know, it just seems like a waste of time to me. Uh, when you can spin those points in something more more valuable. I just think it doesn't have a lot of worth when, uh, when you measure it up against other things. <laughs> you know, like getting more stamina or getting uh, spending a point in making seeds uh, increasing your yield for your farm. That seems you know, more substantial to me than narrowing down the treasure by a couple of blocks. I don't know. I like hunting for buried treasure. Alright. Maybe one more bar of stamina and we might go, uh... Go have some dinner. That's like I should have brought more food and drink. I don't know. I don't. I don't mind by finding the treasure. All right. 
that's really close to that side, so maybe we'll just go and dig out this corner. Uh oh. Didn't mean to do that. All right, let's go have some lunch. Wow, digging is a lot of work. And we can put two more items in there, so there we go. Be a little bit less encumbered. All right, I'm hoping this is towards the center. I mean. A lot of the times you get lucky and you find them in the center um, or close to the center of the mark, but that is not always the case. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little brace there <laughs> just in case. I don't want to have a cave in. Plus, as we get close to that other edge, um, it goes down one. So we might have to dig an extra one down on that corner. Hopefully not. hitting the freaking frames. Yeah, where's my coffee? I've only seen like one coffee, but I think I actually got a seed. We'll have to look. That would be awesome if I remember correctly. <laughs> I started, I started a couple of games because I was, you know, when you're recording, you don't get to, um, you know, always play when you when you want to play. So sometimes you want to play and you and you can't because you don't have enough time to record, or it's just you know you have company in your house and you can't can't really record, but you got a little time to play. Um, so um, yeah, let's let's sort of dig off in this direction. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like we can go off over here. Oh, I'm so glad we found that traitor and that zombie dropped us some iron. That was awesome. Wait. There it is. There we go, a little bit of food and water. And the treasure, baby. Yep, you're too late. I already got the treasure. Oh! <laughs> it's a commitment. I'm serious. I found the treasure. It's gone. You can't you can't have it. It's it's in my pockets. I already got the treasure, guys. You can dig here if you want, but I'm telling you. It's not there. It's not there anymore. But there is a bird's nest. Bird's nest. All right, let's get on bike. We got it. Oh, actually, let's uh, cover this up at least. There we go. We'll pick up these other ones. I haven't hit them yet. <laughs> oh, good times, good times. You know, I'm tempted. I need some more iron. There's some rocks right here. There's a couple of rocks. Let's go ahead and uh, kill these two rocks. Oh, look at that. Two, three, four, five. Oh. 
I used it a little bit, but I was working on that big rock right next to our base, so I wasn't really getting very much iron. So, that was no good. It was no good. Oh, second trader. Uh, the last one, we found a town that had five traders on the out outside of the town, which was freaking awesome. I was, uh, I knew I wouldn't find that again, but I'm glad that we have found another trader. Um, that's just amazing. All right, so, hey, where does... Okay, you can see that this road goes all the way up there, but we really just want to go due, due east. So, we're not going to follow the road. Follow, 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 follow the road. Mm. Okay. We just need the iron, you know? We need the iron. Because I, uh, <laughs> we didn't have that much in the forge, um, and we, and we still need stuff. Uh, um, you there. Do you know where I can find some more iron? Please? Oh, really? There's some more rocks in the area? Thank you. You are so helpful. Oh, look, a bird's nest. Three eggs. Yes. See, he was right. There's, there's more rocks right here. Oh, that is awesome. Love getting me some iron. Look at that. 25, 26, 28. Oh, that, hey. Where'd I put? Oh, whew. I was like, don't tell me I lost my bike. All right, let's go. Okay, let's mine them. <laughs> There's just no rocks around my base. I've mined them all. Well, there was very little, I think, to begin with. Uh, so, I mean, there's, I think there's that hill that's right next to us. I, uh, I haven't gone up there. Oh, like two birds nest right together. Oh, two eggs, yes. We're, we're low on our bacon and eggs. That's why those mushrooms are going to come in handy. Um, and also that uh, the cobblestone rock that I bought from the merchant. Oh, another first three birds nest up here. What? Um, all that cobblestone rock I can use to make the supports um, to build the farmland on. Which is going to be awesome. Once we can get that farm going, we'll be, uh, we'll be set, especially with those mushrooms. Uh, we get the mushrooms going, we can have vegetable stew because we already have the corn and the potatoes. Yeah. And we have water nearby, so... We don't even really need an infinite water source. I mean, I wonder, I know there's no infinite water, but will it, if I take enough water out of that lake, will it go away? Will it dry up? I mean, that would be interesting, an interesting aspect to put into the game is, uh, yeah, that water gets used up, and uh, it would be cool if you could like make a barrel and get rainwater from that. That would that would be awesome. 
Oh, there's a couple more rocks. Oh my gosh. I want all the stuff and things. Ah, I'm. Didn't. Did we level? Did we spend all of our points or do we have one more? Oh, we, we did level again. Um, so yeah, it might be cool now that we've got a quest done to get an additional quest reward. But I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't know if that's... Um, I guess, uh, ooh, they were over there. It sounded like they were right in, right next to me. Whew. Gave me a fright. Gave me a fright. Stupid zomberts. Now I don't want to ride off on my cotton plant. I want my bicycle. Thank you. Oh, there's some more rocks. Um, let's just go. It'll take forever if I keep mining all the rocks. I shouldn't go under the trees when I can't see them, but there's just so many pine trees in this biome. It's kind of hard to not go under a pine tree. See, so look at all those pine trees right there. There we go. Oh, look at the rocks. Yeah, so I thought that the bike wasn't taking damage. I think maybe they reduced the damage that it takes while it's on the road. But off-road, you know, it just makes more sense that you would take less damage uh, on the road. Although, seriously, some of the roads are in pretty bad shape. People haven't been exactly keeping up with the maintenance on that. Look at that. It's got a little shed. That's a little POI that's close to our base. We might come look at that sometime. And there's the cave. Oh, yeah. We're close to the trader. <sighs> yeah, I'm tempted. Tempted to take that daring adventure because the quests are something new and I, I really like the the whole idea of the quest so maybe we should put a point into that and keep that up let's do it let's do it be crazy that'll be my splurge but I'm not putting it in the treasure finding <laughs> I'll put it in the daring adventure but not the treasure finding Awesome. We're going to turn into quest. Here we go, Trader Bob. Ten first aid bandages. That's really nice since we, we don't have our farm up. He does have a shotgun or 26 rounds. Honestly, I think I'm going to take the ammo. Because I I'm so low, <laughs> and uh, I mean the shotgun's worth a little bit more to sell it back, but yeah, I think I'll just take it. I'm gonna take the ammo because uh, we got bandages. If I didn't have bandages, I would probably take those. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And let's get him see if he's got another job. Um, oh, look, the closest one is another buried supply. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it. I don't want to have to go two and three kilometers away. I mean, I do have a bicycle now, but you know, one kilometer away is okay for the bike, but. Three kilometers. Uh, that just seems painful. But see, look at all these rocks over here. Oh, 
the back thinking there's no rocks by my house. There are tons. Tons of rocks. And I would also, I, I'd also like to do, all right. Nope, I wanted the thing. I need to get stuff, there we go. And take it. All right. I like it, I didn't know that the bike had a little inventory. That's kind of cool, like, you know, cause it just makes sense that you could, you could put a basket on a mini bike. Why can't you put one on a bicycle? Uh, so, but it makes sense that that would be smaller or it, uh, the one on the mini bike could be larger. I really need to uh, go through that. There's our mushrooms and the fat and these things can go in there. Awesome, so we actually, uh, we got a little bit of money from that quest. Um, we got a little, didn't I take the ammo? Oh, I did, there it is. I was like, where is it? <laughs> oh my God, I didn't get it. 342 iron woods. Thirty-four hundred dirt. That is gonna help us so much. I mean, you have no idea. That's just gonna be awesome. So we can put the gun in there. That little bit of ammo. That ammo. And then our six. Oh, let's go ahead and repair that shovel up. And we got a, a few of the forged steel uh, for the stuff and things. Okay. I forgot about the lead. Um, and the brass. I haven't really had any brass. I think I sold it all. Do I have any brass? I don't see, oh, here's some lead. I don't see, oh yeah, there, oh my God. I, eyes, what's what's going on? Tell me. Awesome, okay, so we can stick this in our forge. And we have some wood. Oh, that's probably not gonna be enough. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So, I mean, we had quite an adventure here. Um, I'm probably just gonna go ahead and, and gather some wood because we're really low on wood and we need tons more. Um, I'm, I think I'm gonna call the episode early just so I can get, cause I didn't get any time in, during the night to gather any materials because of that second horde. Uh, whether that was a wandering horde or part of the the seven day horde i don't know i think it was another continuation of the horde it just came from a different direction i think it, it was, might have been a little bit buggy because i um, logged off and then logged back in and it was still horde night and it said hey it's horde night you should be getting zombies so i don't know Anyway, we got them dead. We survived. <laughs> Our base survived. Um, and we'll see you next time. I'm going to gather materials, work some more on the base. We got that cobblestone rock from the trader. So I'm going to build the stilts up, get the roof on, and hopefully we'll have a farm for next episode. It's probably not going to be finished. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> so maybe we'll go um, f 
find some more buried treasure. Um, I'm hoping that next time when we turn in one of these buried treasures that there's like a, a kill, a zombie kill that's close by. Because I like the buried treasure, but it's not very exciting and you don't get to kill zombies. We did, we did do the one and we have two more. That's going to give us tons and tons of dirt. We probably won't need more than that. So I'm hoping we'll get some kill zombie quests at clear or something uh, that's going to be close by. Because I don't want to go 3,000 kilometers away to, to clear zombies. There are two towns really close by. I can clear zombies all day long there. <laughs> There's no sense in going three kilometers away. Um, so anyway, uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.